Yesterday, I made a video about the bull trap that's happening with Bitcoin right now and it's going on exactly uh, as we predicted. I actually think we'll go to 18,577 before we see an actual trap confirmed. Uh, but there's a lot to cover within the video. So make sure you watch the video all the way until the end. This is going to be a very interesting one because Sam Bankman, SBF, has been denied jail even though there were rumors that he was going to post bail using his fake FTX tokens pun intended so um, <laughs> Sam Bankman right Sam Bankman fright he was actually fright uh, after uh, everything and one of my favorite traders on Twitter very under um, he needs more attention. Uh, Hedgehog, he plays RuneScape as well, he says. So, was the vegan vegan option in Bahamas jail asking for a friend? <laughs> so, everyone's trolling him. We'll talk about that. There's a lot of uh, other news regarding Binance, technical analysis, the five long positions that I have right now. But before all of that, I actually wanted to talk about the BitGet bonuses. If you sign up using my link in the description down below, if you don't have a BitGet account, it takes no effort to sign um, one up. No matter if you're going long and short, you can take advantage of these rewards. There's a $3 coupon, $50 coupon, four grand trading bonus, $60 coupon, and a $50 coupon. All it takes is just go in the link in the description down below, click sign up, use my link, uh, and pick your nuts off the ground. Um, I also planned to do some copy trading there, so if there's enough interest, let me know in the comment section down below. I also post every single trade I do on Twitter, so if you go on my Twitter right here, I don't have a lot of followers, so if you ask me a question, I can also reply, but uh, pretty much 30 minutes ago, I posted this uh, TRP long a CTSI accumulation. I'll talk about all these trades and everything I took after the video, so make sure you watch that. Uh, uh, watch for that. So basically, he was denied bail, and uh, that's in the bad news. And that's why I believe we have a bull trap, but we still have uh, a little bit more room to move. The rumors about the SEC case being over for Ripple in a negative way uh, are for the 15th of December. And last time I checked. That's actually to tomorrow, which is not good at all. Binance expands payment services to US post DLG probe rumors. Uh, that's actually very, very good because uh, a lot of people are concerned about Binance and BNB token in particular. The whole Binance smart chain uh, is in trouble, especially if Ripple uses, loses the case. Uh, I don't really care because I'm a trader. Uh, um, Cameron Fools also posted a little bit about that, that um, no matter what happens, you can still trade crypto. So you can, I'm not holding a bunch of stuff, so I'm not worried. I'm in and out of trades all the time. So the United States have been uh, an appropriate playground for the cryptoverse. Uncertain yet strict laws have forced several platforms out of the region. Panels, however, veered into the US abiding by all the necessary laws. That's very, very interesting because they do not really have an office per se. They are decentralized and centralized at the same time, uh, trying to abide with US laws. They Binance Pay eliminates the complexities of transferring crypto to contracts. I agree Binance net retrieval search to 3.6 billion in seven days. Yeah, so a lot of people are withdrawing this minus 3 billion. For Binance, things have, seems to have stabilized. This is what they said today. Um, <clears throat> so again, I'm not really worried about Binance. I don't think they're undercapitalized. Obviously, if everyone withdraws their money, they'll not be well. But they still have a lot of tokens. I don't think they're leveraged. Uh, this is something I have to check. I didn't check their recent audits. Uh, but yeah, Australia crypto relations to amplify in 2023. Keep in mind, most of the audits, no matter if they're, I don't really check them because I don't see outside companies doing these audits. So I don't know how legit uh, they would be anyway. So Australia is looking uh, for crypto regulation to amplify in 2023. They're pretty anal when it comes to regulation in general, Australia. Um, they are said to make sweeping changes to financial services laws that will tighten safety nets on the crypto market. This can, 
yeah, crypto custody licensing. The government is also considering cryptocurrency custody and licensing settings to safeguard consumers. There's just too many, I guess. Um, they just want to protect the settings. I get. I hope this is their uh, the reason why they're doing that. I hope it's not uh, because they want to just go and oversee every transaction that's happening in the country, just like the United States want. I hope they have the right uh, motives by doing that. We'll see about that. In the other news, the US, uh, let me show you this, inflation. What to expect from November CPI numbers? We talked about it tomorrow, uh, yesterday. And yesterday, uh, I said that uh, I believe US 30 will go up and I did some price predictions uh, on it and uh, basically it's pumping as you can see right now uh, it has been a perfect trade hit the first target perfectly as you can see 34,626 I believe will probably go uh, towards the 35,213 level which is not ideal because I know uh, some really good traders uh, are one sec are uh, actually short US 30 and it makes sense and we go on the weekly chart uh, you can see a definite downtrend forming up you can draw the trend line but uh, we kind of broke uh, above it I know Cameron Foos has a huge short uh, but I believe he might get taken out on it so pretty much this is the way I would draw it this is was a uh, liquidity grab mm. I believe this is actually a very strong long because we have a pump above the trend line and another pump. The only thing that can really ruin that is rates, basically. But uh, yeah, it's definitely pumping right now. And I do believe this can actually um, help Bitcoin because right now we have an EMA cross, which doesn't really mean anything. We had an EMA cross here and nothing happened. We just had a fake out, a bull trap. Mm, I believe the uh, SBF news is the most important thing. Maybe it won't be so, so bad, right? Maybe it won't be so bad. He gets locked up. No one cares. Here are a few trades uh, that I took today. So TRB long, it's a, a very simple trade. The, the reasoning behind it is basically a uh, it's hovering. And again, if you want to follow my trades, um, and support the channel. I don't really have a paid group and I don't want to have one. I used to have one but I don't really believe in uh, asking for money. If I'm a profitable trader I would not really need uh, paid signals and stuff like that. 40 bucks for, from you on a monthly basis but I would, what I would be very happy with is if you can just support the channel by being an affiliate plus you get some bonuses plus you get my trades. Why not? So uh, as you can see right here we definitely have a higher low being formed uh, which signals uh, a move higher so as soon as we broke out right here uh, of this trend you can see that there was no stopping uh, there was no stopping look at that boom uh, there was a huge liquidity grab I believe from what I remember it happened on the five minute chart so you really couldn't uh, catch it unless you had uh, limit orders placed like so i do not believe this is the most legit candle uh, my main target is uh, to be honest is around here one of these candles but if there's low liquidity this can be a very good trade it's a seven hour trade for me this is the first trade uh, i have another trade i have it's actually doge um and uh, i want to show you how i expect uh, it to play out i was a little bit early uh, on this one right here on the 15 minute chart it looked decent now it doesn't look as good uh, but it still has this upwards momentum uh, and if people are to short it uh, considering the fact that we have now have one higher low then we have a second higher low i do believe uh even if it's a short opportunity, I think it needs to test the liquidity levels right here before actually dumping. We had the Elon Musk and Twitter right here news that definitely shot the price up. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how all of this plays out very, very soon. Um, a few things to note um, are, let me check the other trains I have. Or 
is this? So basically I have CTSI. It's a really good trade, CTSI. That's actually, I remember this, because I saw it a few times on the screen, I said, okay, here it is. Um, this is this was a weird trade at first, but the, you, you can definitely see the price uh, just waving through the EMAs. Maybe basically the market wants the price to move up. You can see a few breakouts happening, right? We have a breakout here, insane liquidity prep above. Then we have a second test with a higher high, which is again very, very bullish. Uh, anyway, you look at it, this is bullish. And you want to be looking for longs right here. And then we have uh, just money coming in right here. We can not see any lower lows. This is an equal low. If it's a lower low, just a stop loss one, which is very healthy for the weekends. I wouldn't, if you longed here and you didn't take profit here, it's your fault. That's 20% move. I'm looking for um, grabbing liquidity right here. Basically, this would be my take profit. My stop loss is very close, very, very close. This is a very good trade. I might get stopped out a few times, but I'll probably try it out uh, a few times as well. Maybe, where is, uh, I believe my stop is below this. Yeah, so it's not that bad. I thought it was here, but yeah, we had the breakout on this candle. Another trade I have is Uni. Uh, this is a, a trait that uh, you might want to follow. Here it is. Breakout, very clean trait. We're looking for liquidity again. Higher, uh, higher lows, just a perfect example of a good trade. Plus, we have the higher high right here. So, we would be looking for uh, longs. I was trying to short uh, uni, and to be honest, right, right here, it did play out. Uh, I managed to take some profit, but uh, yeah. It's not really looking like a short right now. This definitely has more upside potential uh, that will go over. We also have a Matic uh, long, and the Matic long looks like this. Let me open it up. The Matic long looks like this. Uh, we pretty much have uh, a breakout from the downtrend. Um, we, we had it here. Went down, uh, retest. Uh, I managed to do this scalp. Uh, I don't know if I got the perfect entry on the re-entry. My stop loss is obviously below here on the daily low. Uh, and from um, I'm targeting this. This is an insane trend. I don't think it will work uh, from the first time, but it definitely is. Actually, I do believe it can work. The only issue I have is we're hovering. Uh, around the 200 EMA, but hopefully something like this happens, right? So we hover around the 200 EMA, we have these liquidity grabs, you see the trend line, the trend line breaks right here, uh, and you just enter in here, stop loss here, this is a perfect example of a Matic trade uh, with a similar setup. Uh, the volume right now is, is really good uh, compared to the selling volume. Uh, when I would have the targeted last time was probably ma at maximum that was not going to be easy but I was probably going to be uh, going for this high right here I don't know if I was going to get the full of this pump but around 1 to 2.9 R is really good uh, in any scenario plus it would only take two days to complete this trade because not my whole time is like five seven days sometimes so that, that would be a, a very quick roi on my money again if you didn't manage to claim some bonuses check out the ones from bitget i'll have more for you very soon i'm partnering up with other brands to get you some bonuses so make sure you subscribe i'll probably have a video later today if you're new I want to see you again, so hit the subscribe button. I would be very, I would really, really appreciate it. Hit the like button, really supports the channel, helps me out. See you next one. Bye.